my life on your promises but not anymore it's over Trey between us I walk into the trauma center and I see my daughter hooked up to machines. I couldn't even breathe. I just collapsed to the, to the floor. It's like an exploding grenade. That's how transportation officials describe the violent impact of a faulty Takata airbag. Airbags are supposed to save lives and not to be the cause to take them. Last month, the Honda Corporation confirmed Jewel's deadly injuries were caused by the faulty Takata airbag in the 2001 Honda Civic she was driving. The airbags are supposed to save lives, not to be the cause to take them. What makes Jewel's case different is she rented the Honda Civic, and that car had been under recall since 2009. Very minor damage to all these vehicles. And Attorney Adam Shea vehicles. represents Jewel's family. It's astonishing that that magnitude of injury happened from what was really a fender bender. A four-car collision where all the other drivers walked away, but a metal fragment exploding from the Takata airbag left a three-inch slice in Jewel's neck. She had lost so much blood that oxygen wasn't getting to her brain. You took a wrongful, wrongful death case against the companies. What did you learn about these companies during that process? They were, um, well, they covered up information for 10 years that these faulty airbags were operating in these cars. Um, these airbags that were made with ammonia nitrate that would explode. In my daughter's case, the chapel metal exploded and cut, it, cut her carotid artery. This is uh, 6-15, uh, 2014, Father's Day. Dad, it's almost like I drew and wrote this card myself. After 26 years, I finally understand I will always be your little girl. Big or small, old or young, you forever my everything, my rock, my world. You have always been more than a dad to me. You are a mom, a dad, a sister, a brother, and my heart. I love you forever, your little girl. 
She lived up to her name, Jewel, the precious gem. She was precious to me and she was precious to the world. We got the K-Con concert in a month. They're coming back to LA. I might be in Korea, who knows? This is the next Justin Bieber, Chim Chim Bieber, right here. Chim Chim, Chris Chim.맨 마지막에 토니 선배님이 이렇게 막 선배님으로서 이제 이런저런 얘기를 마이크 대고 이렇게 얘기를 하셨는데 그 얘기 들을 때 뭔가 뭔가 막 감정이 이상했다. conversation about legends that die too soon and the fact that their music is appreciated more only because they passed away okay and uh oh yeah yeah i remember you you did bring something oh like man that. that's a good that's a good conversation we should have um yeah he got a marriage so yeah Congratulations on your marriage. We date to another one, actually. Ah, we're good. 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 I'm the BTS airport kid. Yeah, confirmation right there. So back when I was 13, I used to go uh, at an airport to fly planes through a flight program when I was younger. And the guy that owns the place, Robin, comes to me and goes, hey, want to be on TV? I was 13, I thought it was a joke. So I was like, yeah, sure. It wasn't a joke. He tells me the camera and crew are coming um, and two K-pop stars. And I was like, okay, sure. So when they get there, camera crew meet them, they're nice, the director's nice. They were telling me to be bossy. Like, they were telling me, oh, go tell them what to do. Well, they would point out like, oh, he's not working hard enough. I don't think he's scrubbing hard enough. And they would tell me to do it. And as a 13 year old, you've just given a 13 year old a lot of power. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go tell him what to do. And I told him, you gotta really scrub here. Right, so I'm in there and then Robin sees them playing with water and then he tells me to go tell him to stop, like be extra bossy for, for the show. So that's why I went out there and I was extra bossy. And the director thought that was cute, 13 year old telling them what to do. So then she tells me to be super bossy, but I was so shy and like scared that I was only bossy to one person, so that's why I went to Jimin so much, because he was like the cooler one. Uh, Robin tells them, all right, I'm gonna take you in the other, he told them. They acted shocked for the camera, but he told them how far they, he was gonna take them up. He wasn't even gonna take them that far, and he, they were all in on it. Jimin, Jungkook, the crew, the director, that was a part of the plan. That wasn't a, just surprised Robin was being a, a punk. And actually, Robin gave them more money than any of the other um, American Hustle people they worked for like on the show because I saw that they worked for different people that episode. Mm -hmm. 